let's actually take a look at these structures. And I don't know if you know what the word dissection means, but to study the human body, um, we in the medical school do what's called a dissection. So we actually open up the body to look at all the parts inside. So let's do that here in the chest region. So in the chest, what we're going to do is remove all of the skin from the chest. And you can see underneath the skin, you have not only your ribs, but a bunch of breathing muscles. All right, so let's remove those muscles and the ribs and look inside. All right, so here's us looking inside the chest cavity. Now, what can we see here? Well, I can, you can see the heart and the heart's in the middle here and the heart is covered in fat. Okay, so there is um, some fat around your heart and a little bit of fat is normal. Okay, a lot of fat is not normal and it's very, very, very unhealthy because it makes the heart, it makes it difficult for the heart to pump all of that blood. But let's see what we can see from this view. First of all, there's the right atrium. You can see just a little bit of it. There's the SVC. You can see that it's kind of blue. Um, the IVC would be right about there, but it's so such a short segment that we can't see much of it. Now, here is the candy cane. Okay, so that's the short part of the candy cane. That's the aorta. Here's the pulmonary trunk. Remember, the pulmonary trunk is what led to the T intersection. So here is that T intersection. Here's the left pulmonary uh, left pulmonary artery, let me fix that. So here's the left pulmonary artery and here's your right pulmonary artery. Um, what else can we see from this view? Well, you can see the right lung, there's the left lung, um, and it's really hard to see any of the chambers of the heart from this view because the fat's covering it. So let's actually take the heart out and clean it up. So here's the heart removed from the chest cavity and all of the fat. So let's see what we can see here. Here we're looking at the front of the heart. So remember that person that we were looking at before, the person that's standing in front of you, facing you, okay? You're looking at the front of that person's heart. So your left side, remember, is that person's right side. So again, here's the right atrium. Here's the SVC. Here's just a little bit of the IVC leading into uh, the right atrium. Sorry, you can't really see that. Let me label that again. So there's the opening for your IVC, okay? All of this is the right ventricle, okay? The right ventricle is going to lead us into the pulmonary trunk. So I can see all of that. Now, the other uh, chamber that I can see from the front is the left ventricle. And you can only see a little bit of it. And what was leaving the left ventricle? 
good. It's the aorta, so there's that huge aorta. Now, from this view, looking at the front of the heart, you can only see three of the rooms, three chambers. So what chamber can we not see from this view? We, we've got the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left ventricle. So of course we're missing the left atrium. Now the only way we can see that is to take the heart and turn it around. So now you're looking at the back of the heart. This is the left atrium. And how do we know that? Because we've got one, two, three, four pulmonary veins coming into it. Okay. And this is not a pulmonary vein. That's actually the IVC. Again, here's the SVC, so those two roads are leading to the right atrium, which is on the front of the heart. Okay, so that is a look at the heart. Here again is the front view, and what we're going to do now is look inside the heart. So let's look at the chambers and the valves on the inside of the heart. Okay. So if we open it up, here's the right atrium. This will flap. That's your tricuspid valve. This is your right ventricle. And you can see there's some there's some interesting strings in the right ventricle. We won't talk about those, but if you have strings, then you know you're in the ventricle. Okay, then the blood is going to pass up this way in the pulmonary trunk. So there is the pulmonary valve. So that's the door that separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary trunk. Okay, that's what we can see from this view. Let's go a little bit more uh, in the back and we can see a little bit of the left atrium. Okay, so that's where those four pulmonary veins dump into. Here is the bicuspid valve. There's the left ventricle. So again, do you see all those strings? So all of those strings make up the left ventricle, or found in the left ventricle. And um, leaving out the left ventricle, there is the aortic valve. So the aortic valve leads us into the candy cane. Okay. And look how much muscle. Look at all of that muscle that's found in the heart. That's because the muscle is a pump. Remember, it's pumping the blood around the world twice. Okay, here's a better view of the left atrium, and you can see these four holes here. The four holes are the openings for the pulmonary veins. Um, yeah, this is just a better view of the left atrium and the bicuspid valve.